hi guys hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Poe Abila as usual <laughs> oh my god guys I'm so excited to have you on here um, if you are new um, if you are thank you for granting us the privilege <laughs> to share our experience with you please do well to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video i promise you you would not regret it and for my old subscribers you guys are the real g's man you guys are the real g's you keep rooting for me you keep giving me the thumbs up to go ahead and do my thing and i'm really glad for you guys support and your ever 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 welcomed encouragement thank you guys so much it's good to have you here you're watching moments with Poe Abila on today's episode I want to discuss something very sensitive something that we all do in the hush hush something that we do not talk about moms on the streets of YouTube you guys understand what I'm talking about you know how we all go through something and nobody has really come up to say okay this is a thing that we go through as a body this is a thing that all moms experience I am talking about those unspoken unsaid daily mother moms experience you know how, how am i going to put this okay you know how new moms yeah you just gave birth to your child and you're seeing you know every stage of every child you expect them to achieve a particular milestone or the other at three months the child is expected to do a particular thing at four months the child is expected to do a particular thing five months a particular thing like one milestone after the other do you understand okay good now as a new mom you expect that of course we all want our child to be little albert einstein's don't we <laughs> I know I do. I'm already checking if Jason is smart like that. Do you understand? We all do it. We can't even deny. All moms do it. There's sometimes that we we just check to see if our child can understand what we are saying. And one time my husband was like, "Why are you always talking to this boy and speaking correct English and big big grammar? What if this boy actually answers you and say yes, mommy? What would you do? Would you run? <laughs> it's funny, right? But it's the truth. We all do this thing. Now, the unsaid dilemma is the fact that. What then happens if at the time your child is supposed to um, achieve a particular milestone, they don't? Take for example, we all know children sit from then they crawl and then they walk and then they run while they talk in between. I can't really remember at what stage they talk, but shall they talk? Do you understand? Okay. The unspoken dilemma I'm talking about is when a mom realizes that her baby is not going through that process the way other children are doing it the way other you you see some gives birth at the same time you do their children at seven months are already has already seated is already creeping about to grow, about to walk <laughs> and your child is still not sitting do you understand know what I'm saying now? Those children that slowly they grow or they achieve their milestones slowly. I'm saying this thing because a lot of persons have I mean in the medical field, like I've said earlier, I'm in the medical field, I'm a medical laboratory scientist. So I've seen a lot of moms who they come to me and say, Ah, ma, we don't understand though. This baby is not creeping. This baby is not working. Well, it's already two, it's already one, it's not working. What is going on? I'm worried. As for the moms that speak up, well, there are some that do not speak up at all. They'll be living in. Do you know the trauma? You start feeling like, ah, does this my child have one syndrome or the other? Does my child have one brain, um, brain damage or the other? Most moms don't come out to say, eh, my baby is slowly progressing or slowly processing life and is going to get the boys doing it gradually, unlike the other children. And. Let me not even talk about the way society will start looking at the baby safe. They're like, ah, your child is already one year and it's not working. Ah, your child is already six months and he can't sit. Ah, you can't go this place, you can't go that place. Don't start. Nigerians, you know they had us. Once, once, one little glitch, one tiny glitch of um, 
the unusual happens. Trust Nigerians to suggest take her to the hospital. Is that even a good choice? Or is it take a pastor? Ah, something is wrong, so we need to pray. <laughs> I'm not against going to church and praying, okay? I'm a pastor's wife myself, so I agree with that. You need to go to church, you need to pray, but there are some things that you should know, yeah? That it's not your fault, ma'am. It's not. And sometimes all you need to do is get a medical checkup and confirm if or not there's something actually wrong with your baby. Before you know, your child will just be um, uh, growing slowly. And there are ways to help that child physiotherapy physiotherapic <laughs> physiotherapeutical ways to help that child achieve those milestones so relax mom relax relax your baby is gonna come around i know of, ch of a child who um was like about a year eight months and was still not working i remember her walking sorry i remember how the mom was so worried she kept crying herself to sleep for days Days, thinking she had done something wrong during the pregnancy maybe she ate something wrong or she um did something wrong you know basically blaming herself and she fell into depression she fell into deep depression it took the grace of god to help that lady out of it we had to counsel her over and over again to help her realize that it is not her fault it is not her fault some children are just slow like that others are fast faster while others are slow, but some are in between. It is okay, whichever way your child comes, accept the child for who they are and love that child. On that note, I hope that Jason starts running before his eight months. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't, that's fine. But if he does, trust me, I would not have an Albert Einstein. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, well, you guys understand what I'm trying to say, right? I know how these things can be psychologically for a mom. It's not easy. Because then... The <laughs> Especially when people keep asking you, like, what did you do wrong? What did you feed him with? Where did you take him to? Who did you allow to touch him? They start suspecting all the neighbors, start suspecting all the in-laws, start suspecting all the relatives that come to say hi to the baby. Men and brethren, just chill out, okay? It's fine. It's fine. It's not the baby's fault, okay? Neither is it the mom's fault. It is just a growth process, okay? All right, guys. So, if you have any, um, if you have any thoughts on this topic, please do help to leave it in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've experienced something like that. I'll be in the comment section waiting for you so we can share our views and throw more light on that. On how we can manage this type of trauma or this type of dilemma when it does happen. And if you know anyone that's gone through it and the person um, has come out of it successfully and that baby is doing great right now. It, please also share it in the comment section. Let's all encourage each other you know we women have to stick together you know right also i just want to say this as a side note just because the child did not work on time or because the child did not speak on time or because the child does not um let me say sit on time or crawl on time that does not mean that child has a low iq that does not mean that child is going to be retarded for life that does not mean that child is going to be a slow child for life it just means that at the beginning stage, the child is going through a slow growth process and it is medically fixable, okay? So please, moms, do not pressure yourself because life not supposed hard like that. You understand? <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you've been able to learn something from today's episode. Please do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Do not forget to like and share this video so that other moms will hear about Poe Abila, women's Poe Abila and come looking for some advice because I'm here for it. You know I'm here for it. You know I am here for it. Okay guys, have a nice day. Mwah.